Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If we're new to each other, my name is Jamie, and today we're going to talk about how to get the power performance of your MacBook onto your old iMac display. So if you're ready, let's get started. First, a little history lesson on the iMac. The current design of the iMac was introduced in 2009, and it would leave anyone hard pressed in guessing the pixel quality or generation of your iMac display by just looking at it. The iMac has held up the same shape since then, with Apple only updating the internals and screen pixelation. The rumored redesign of the classic iMac has been lingering for months and were thought to be put to an end at this year's virtual WWDC 2020. However, this was not the case just yet. Apple did announce and give us a little preview of what to expect in their 11th version of the Mac operating system, titled After the Mountainous Rugged Valley Off the Coast of California, Big Sur. Mac OS Big Sur gives the user interface a complete refresh. At this year's conference, we also learned that Apple will be moving on to their own silicone chip. So when the time comes and this iMac finally does get the redesign it deserves, what do you do with your old iMac? Chances are you're going to try and sell it and you're not going to get very much for your money. So why not repurpose it and make it partner to your MacBook? So first, this tag hack is not compatible with iMacs that have the built-in Retina 4K display that was introduced in the late 2014. Instead, this is compatible with models introduced in the late 2009 through mid-2014. You can find this information in about this Mac in the overview section. Mine is the late 2012 model that still allowed the user to make their own upgrades to RAM, which I did a few years back. And then once you've identified your iMac model, you not only need a cord to do this, but you'll also need an adapter. And there's really no inexpensive way of doing this because the cord will cost you $29.99 and the adapter $49.99. And trust me, I've tried to go through Amazon and there's really no inexpensive way of doing this. I had to send back two cords because you'll need an authentic Apple cord in order to make this MacBook iMac tech hack work. Chances are that you'll still try to prove me wrong and find a cheaper accessory. And if you do, just be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But also be sure that you're purchasing a USB-C to Thunderbolt and not a USB-C to mini sport display as they both are the same shape. Trust me, I made this mistake as well. After cords and adapters are secured and in place, simply press the Command F2 keys in the iMac keyboard and your Mac will display will transition onto your iMac. If you'd rather your iMac be the dominant display with your MacBook lid closed, you need to customize your energy saver preferences in the settings menu. You will need to hit the unlock near the bottom left hand corner, then slide the display preference onto never so your MacBook does not go to sleep when it's closed. You will need to have a separate keyboard and mouse combo because the ones that come with your iMac won't be usable. So once you do have that USB-C adapter, the one that goes into the Thunderbolt, as well as your Thunderbolt cord, just really make sure that they have that little Thunderbolt on them. Um, that's how you distinguish the Thunderbolt cord between a main display port because they do have that same shape and same size. Um, and then yeah, once you have that, this piece will go into your MacBook, the USB-C portion, and you'll attach the extension of the Thunderbolt cord, and this end it just simply goes into the back of your iMac display. Uh, they do have a longer one, this is half a millimeter, they have a two millimeter one, uh, but that'll cost you 10 extra dollars, uh, so really the half a millimeter is, is fine unless you're doing some real wiring um, and concealing of your MacBook. Um, it's really not the case, you just don't want the portability of taking your MacBook off your desk, on your desk. So if you found a less expensive way of getting this tech setup to work, let me know in the comment sections down below. And then while you're there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because I drop videos like this all the time. So until then, see ya.